Bruce Cassidy has led the Bees to a sixth straight playoff berth. Boston has won their last two games. Five games to go, you can feel that playoff anticipation in the building and around the league. Off we go, Penguins and Bruins. Penguins got the puck down ice, and I love the way Raquel tried to take that puck to the net. Now that's Dan Hyde, and he's at goals in three consecutive games. Former Boston Bruin, four years with the Bees. Taylor Hall is going to toss the puck out to center. In the last Bruins victory, he is really dominant on the ice. It's impossible not to notice him. Chris Letang down the right wing, tries a shot, and that will go high and off the glass, back out to center. Here's Mike Matheson, career year for him, here high in goals and points, steered in, played by Jeremy Swayman, turned it over though, it's going back to the high slot, there's Matheson, he fires, denied! Blue line, he's so shifty, and this play, that was the misplay there by Swayman, it comes out there to Matheson, see how he held it, a little deception there, so he can create a lane, allow the player to go by him just a little bit, and then gets the shot. That trio, but the Penguins looking for a little more scoring depth. Off the foot of Paola, down low for Curtis Lazar, also a career year for him. Paola's had a hot hand lately for Boston, shot from the angle denied by DeSmith. Two goals against on 29 shots Saturday afternoon. Penguins with some trouble, puck bouncing into the blue paint, trying to find it is DeSmith, and he's able to cover up for the whistle. Penguins also trying to find some secondary scoring, get some players out of goal scoring droughts. Polino's only got two on the season in 58 games. Certainly they expected maybe 10 out of him. Now this is what we expect with these two. Evenly matched and both so good defensively. Here's DeBruskin. Got his stuff by DeSmith. A lot of booze for Brad Marshawn. Brock McGinn. He's got points in the last two games. Fourth game back from the upper body injury. Bluger recovers it for Pittsburgh. And the high flip is back to center circle and knocked down by Connor Clifton. Lifting for Hall. He scored the other night. Taylor Hall drives in. Shot kicked out by DeSmith. Well, Class clean it up. Gensel down the wing. Curls to the line. Ruido with the shot. It's loose. Swayman kept it out. Lifton will clear for Boston. Crosby bursting in Gensel. He's got a tip. Fires. He scores. What a play. Jake Gensel makes it one nothing. Penguins. How many players in the league would be able to score this goal as Gensel throws it in that triangle and then turns it to the forehand, backhand to forehand pass coil. Boy, that's a beautiful thing to watch right there. And he goes five hole on Swayman, and it's all got to be done in perfect transition. There can't be any hitch in that. Well, I wonder if he knew it was the forward he was going against and not a defenseman. It was a terrific play either way. Sunday's provided by Point Park University, 38 for Jake. Crosby and Raquel getting the assist. Puck will roll in deep in the Penguin zone. Back up high, a shot stopped by a standing Casey to Smith. Banged off the glass by McGinn. The center four and a red hot Dan Heinen. Stolen away by Marshawn. Advances it for DeBrus. 7 2 and 0 on three days. Plus rest. You don't get that kind of rest that often. Yeah, especially this time of year. Mike Sullivan was talking about just the opportunity. A little gamesmanship, if you will, Mirzi, because Brian Rush was out there a long time. Both these teams trying to get the power play going. Gansel front for Rust. Raquel works that far side. Gansel Latang opens up. Right at the dot is Crosby. Looks and fires. Fought off by Swim. Comes back to him. Then the spare puck is loose. Unable to finish with Gensel's Rust. Jake, back to attack the momentum. The Penguins have done that. Well, that was incredible there. They certainly have. They shot at every opportunity. Gensel hits the post there. Nosek with the desperation. He's able to just get a piece of it. Mike Riley, pestered by Rodriguez. Players tumble down. There's Kapanen going to Boyle. Boyle a chance and denied by Swayman. Get that feeling that we are so close to playoff hockey. You can feel it, right? Only thing missing is the weather. What? Yeah, what happens? Why does it feel like it's still November? <laughs> uh, give it a couple of days. Marshawn sails that one in the left hand of Casey DeSmith. And he's really been on an explosion, especially on the road. He's scoring a ton of goals on the road right now. I mean, he's got 11 since February 19th. Look out of Marshawn, the drive stopped by DeSmith. Getting on pucks, turning them over, and boy, Casey DeSmith's got to be sharp. That one there. 
Peeling back is Marino, trying the other side of the ice. Jason Zucker, leaving it for Marcus Pedersen. Marino fires it forward. Here comes Jason Zucker in on goal. He scores! Zucker! He rattles the cage to make it 2 0 Penguins. Take a look at this breakout play as it goes through the center. I don't know if Carter touched that or not, but he knew that on his backside. What a play that was. Letting it go right through to Zucker, who elevates the puck over the glove hand of Swayman. Swayman's got the glove up, but when he shoots it, he puts the glove down. Now Patrice Bergeron, the future Hall of Famer. Bergeron, like a backhand key. Comes to Marshall, looks and fires, loose in front at the brush with an eye by DeSmith. Get in front of it. Let's take a look at this bouncing puck. It's going to come right to Marshawn, and it comes off Casey's shoulder. And he makes another save, so a real good job there. That one high, there's the rebound, and DeBrus shoots it right back into Casey, who's got that glove. Boston having won their last two overall. Loose puck right in the middle of the zone, the tag, finds the puck, goes all the way over, and score! Jake gets all again! 3-0 Pittsburgh. Flips the puck up in the air to buy some time. He goes off the ice. The Bruins can't play the bouncing puck. Carlo chops it up. Latang stays on it and finds Gensel way over to the left of Swayman. Nice little curl and drag. Gensel's way over here at the edge of your screen. 18 points combined over the last five games. And big minutes too, Bob. They're both up over 20 minutes on average now. This will probably be the 11th straight game for Jake Gensel over 20 minutes. Playing a lot of hockey, and they are producing. Tang with a birthday coming up on Sunday. Slowing down, just not in his vernacular. Marshawn to the front. The brush with the tip puck is losing. It's stamped away from McAvoy. Great feed by Marshawn looking for a stick, and Casey Smith shutting the door. Look at Marshawn, he looks for the stick there, DeBrusque out in front, Casey makes that. Now Curtis Lazar, a little bit of space, passes in behind the goal, but back in front for Lazar, and again the Penguins. Lazar trying to go back door, Coyle pounces on it for Boston. Charlie Coyle, low to high, Forbert with a shot, change direction, couple of times, juggled by DeSmith, it's loose, lunging is DeSmith, can he cover up, Body's just outside the crease, it squirts free, and now it's Forbert. Forbert over to Clifton, Clifton, redirection goes wide to Smith. no stick to Goaltender Casey DeSmith, who's getting bumped and banged. Sacha, Glenn Hall. Well, look at that pass. Runs. Here comes Jake Gensel. Takes it off the wall. Cutting towards the net. Stopped by Swayman. What a pass. Was that Crosby? In behind the defense when he was stepping up on the play. Tremendous pass. And we got a penalty here. Other than that, he might be the smartest player that I've ever seen play the game. And he's playing with another. Uh... Well, he's with speed through center. It's redirected in by Grizzly. Paula over to Coyle. Coyle with a centering pass into Smith sliding. Denies Smith. Hold by Riley. Trouble the cross for Grizzly. Pretty good rocket of a shot there by Raquel. Wayman didn't even react. He didn't even move. Almost no sick trying to sneak in. Backhander stuff. Rebound Felino. He's knocked down. Felino is going to have an open net. And there's Raquel with the good body check on Felino. For goals in four consecutive games in the circle Crosby there is Heinen on and off his stick Heinen pokes it back Matheson shot off the post Was that four posts tonight Go to the Boston Bruins Bruce Cassidy here's this opportunity Raquel looks like he got a piece of that Cer certainly changed the direction of that puck that was heading one direction went across the body of Swaim and hit the post on the other side so was looking for points 98 and 99 on the season. Jake DeBrus flying in down the middle. DeBrus with a shot, missed well wide. Oh, here comes Gensel. Gensel. Got it for the empty net. He scores! Hat trick, and it's 40's night for Jake Gensel. And this one here. 
The only thing he had to do was miss the referee. Yeah, I noticed that. Did you see that? What a strong performance. And a 52 save shutout for Casey DeSmith.